Hi guys! This is part two of the witchy haul video that I'm making, so you can go back and watch part one if you want. So I guess I'm gonna go into kind of the Amazon order. Okay, so one thing that I got um, was some chalkboard labels. This is called Ziggy Board and it's uh, 90 of these small they're kind of small um, chalkboard labels. Uh, this is the one that came with the, the chalk marker. And I got it because I'm collecting herbs. I made an herb order, which I'm going to show you guys. So I just thought it was um, important to get labels. And I love the chalkboard labels. So I got those. So I'm excited. Okay. I'll show you guys these guys. Let me just get them. My hair is going all over the place. Okay. <laughs> it's still going all over the place. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, it my thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, alrighty. So I got some Oracle and a tarot deck. Oracle decks and a tarot deck. I'm not going to go through and show all the cards and everything. Sorry, the camera's shaking. Sorry. Um, I'm not going to go through and show them all off. I will be doing reviews of all of my decks. It's a plan. Eventually, I will get to um, making review videos for all my decks. Um, so this one is the Messenger Oracle. It kind of shows you some um, pictures in the back. I'll show you these guys those right now. Um, I love this. I love this this deck. I was um, I wasn't planning on buying this deck, and I hadn't bought it for a long time. And then I was just really drawn to buying it, and I love it. Um, the the imagery really speaks to how I would envision the imagery to be for the card, and the messages are exactly kind of how I talk and how I think and how I motivate myself. And I, I love the messages and the messages. Um, aren't kind of, they're kind of unusual for an Oracle deck that I've seen. Um, like they say, uh, have courage, time to ground, heed the messengers, a new dawn, a new day of dawns, embrace spirit. And they have other ones, um, pretty straightforward messages. And I just love it. It has barn owl on it. So I have to love that because barn owl, the owl is my totem animal and the barn owl and the great horned owl are my favorite owls. So, um, yeah, <laughs> so I got that one. Then I got the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle cards. Those guys in the back. Don't know if it'll... Oh, well, it finally went. The minute I pull the deck away, it focuses. <laughs> Um, this one's really cool. It was a lot different than what I thought it was going to be. I thought I'd give it a shot because a lot of people like this deck. I don't have any from Colette Baron Reed and I, I thought I'd give it a shot and I actually really love it. And it's not, um, depicted the way it, I think it should be depicted. Um, a lot of people show off the, the cards with like the humans and the fairies on them and some of the animals, but I think half the deck is the pathway cards which I love. That's actually the reason I bought the deck is for the pathway cards. And to know that half the deck is like pathway cards is amazing. And then, um, uh, the other quarter of the deck is like animal cards. And then you have the fairy cards and some of the human cards. And I'll go over that later. So it's actually really nice. Um, next one I got is the Archangel Oracle cards. So, um, I have a couple on the back to show you. There you go. Um, I, I do have almost all of the decks by Doreen Virtue. Uh, the only ones I don't have are ones that I just don't feel connection to. But I um, hesitated to get this deck. Some people say they don't like it. But I absolutely love it. Um, I love it when she has decks where she has multiple artists for her cards. And... I really like it. Um, 
each archangel gives you is on the card and gives you a message, but um, it's it's written in a way that's um, I don't know I, just, I I like the messages I like the way the messages are are said. Like for comfort, Archangel Azrael, I am with you in your so tiny. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. Can't believe I was able to read that. Um, so it just it's really nice messages. I I really like the angel cards. I don't know if it's because my first deck ever, um, Oracle deck ever that I got was the daily guidance from your angels, but I do love the angel cards and their messages. So the next one that I got this one was, I saw a review for it on YouTube, and it looked like a really cool deck, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, it's Angel Pray Prayers by uh, Kyle Gray. And these have, um, like, the, the digital artwork, where, like, they drew the picture and then they digitized it. They're really, really pretty cards. Um, my only tiff with this deck is I don't know if it was in storage for a long time or brand new or whatever, but the, um, like eight of the cards stuck together and I literally had to take a knife and like cut the card and like rip it apart basically. And the edges of the actual card face, um, the ink like came off and on like corners and stuff, the ink came off and I have to like go back and fix the deck. I gotta like take a marker and color it in and tape it back together because some of the edges frayed. It was only eight cards that did that, but really annoying. Like, I'm used to the, the, the cards sticking when they have the coating on the edges, but it wasn't just the edges that stuck together. It was the actual cards, like, had glued together. Like, face, like the faces of the cards had glued together and you couldn't rip them apart. Only annoying thing, also because these cards are beautiful, um, it was annoying to have that happen, but I'm not going to send it back. I'll just... I'll work with it. I never send anything back because I feel like whatever I received, I was meant to receive it. I can always fix it and work with it anyways. Um, the reason I got this deck is because it's an angel deck that's not from Doreen Virtue. <laughs> so I thought I'd give it a shot and I really love it. I really love um, his depictions of the angels and the imagery of the angels. So the last deck that I got is a tarot deck and this is the Mystic Fairy Tarot. Um, yeah, it has a couple on the back for you to see. Don't know if you can see that very well. Hmm. Um, I love this deck. Uh, I'm hesitant to work with tarot because you have to memorize the messages of each card. With the oracle, the messages are on the card, or at least the titles on the card. So in a reading, you just kind of read off the card. It's a lot easier. I'm not saying that I'm lazy. Maybe I am a little bit. But um, it's just there's 72 cards. And you have to memorize all the messages. It's hard. It's challenging. Um, so what I love about decks like this, and I really love this deck, um, is that the, the Major Arcana is pretty easy to understand the messages. You can memorize the title because the, the Major Arcana, technically each card has a title. And if you memorize the title, then you can kind of interpret the message of the card. With the Minor Arcana, there really is no title except, you know, Ace through King of the suit. And it's like, oh, that doesn't really help. Um, so I love the decks that um, break up the suit. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. Into a... A story because each suit has a theme to it and the cards are kind of supposed to kind of tell a story based on that theme um, for each each suit and this deck definitely does it um, the Pentacles is my favorite and I'll, I'll do a review of it but it shows you like each card is um, a different page out of like that story of the suit and I don't know if I'm explaining that very well but um, Anyways, I like tarot decks that actually the imagery helps to tell the message of the card and the whole suit has a theme or a story that it's telling. So depending on where what card you got in that suit, you can kind of 
know where you are in the story and know what that card means. So it's easier for interpretation of the cards. Okay, so the next thing that I will show you guys is I got a bunch of spell candles or chime candles. I call them spell candles. And I got a bunch to add to my collection. There's still a few that I need, a few colors that I want to get, but they're not that important. Um, yeah. So, um, I got light blue um, candles. I'll keep, yeah. So I got these light blue spell candles. They're really, really pretty. And then I got brown. They're brown. Do you know how hard it is to find brown spell candles? It's pretty hard. And I found these on Amazon. I think from Biederman or Biederman Sons. So, so cool. I got brown ones. Um, each of these is a set of 10. I'm really excited that I found brown ones. The other ones are kind of mixed in, so I kind of already mixed them up. Um, but... I got also a set of 10 gray ones, which is nice because the whole, the whole wax is gray. Um, I also got some metallic gold. I got a couple of sets and I'm trying to show you guys, sorry if it's shaking, I'm trying to show you guys the sets that I got. I don't really know if I'll be able to tell you the sets. Maybe I'll just kind of show you all the candles that I got because I got two assortments. Um, but each assortment was exactly the same. Um, they came with two of each color, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, black, and white. And, and then one of them had a golden. So actually, each of them came with extra candles. They each came with a gold and a silver. And then they each came with one of these um, pale purple. I, I don't know if you can really tell what color purple that is. Maybe that'll help. It's like a pale purple. The camera's not doing justice. And it came with like a pale green. I don't know if I can find those. I'm trying. I don't know. I mean, it came with some red and some different orange. Some of them came with uh, these really dark orange, and some of them came with a really dark red. Got some yellows. Got some, sorry the camera's shaking, I'm on a really unstable table. Got some dark green. Some black, and um, some white, and then like I showed before, I got some pink, and some purple, which I already showed you. Um, some of them came with this really beautiful purple. Okay, I don't know if this camera is really going to show you just. These are the three different colors of purple. So this is like a lavender. It's not doing justice. This is like a wine color. And this is like a really dark purple. Like a... Halloween witchy purple. Um, then I got um, a lot of them came with more of the light blue. So even though I had, I had ordered a package of, of light blue because I thought I was going to get dark blue in my assortments, but I ended up being light blue. Um, and then uh, these are some of the pale greens. In comparison, some of the pale greens that I got. Well, they're pretty much the assortments that I got. 
Let me just put these away. <laughs> just set them over there. Okay. Okay, so next we can get to the herbs, and I'm going to just do all the herbs in this video. It's going to be as, you know, short as I could make it um, to show you guys the herbs. I will be putting them into the jars that I have. Um, first off, I wanted to show these, this I got from Amazon, um, it's Dragon's Blood Powder, Dragon's Blood Resin Powder. Um, so it's in powdered form, which is nice because Dragon's Blood usually comes in really big chunks and it's hard to break up. Um, this I got at um, a store called Blackbird. It's kind of like a camping outdoor store. This is Irish Moss. And Irish Moss is a type of seaweed. And then these, um, oops, one of them's open. <laughs> Take one out. These, um, we got from the 1-800 Pet Meds when we ordered medication for our animals, my mom and I. Um, they, when you order medication for cats, they sent you catnip. So I got a bunch of catnip. And I will be putting the catnip into my herb supply because I want to use catnip for magical purposes and my cats go cray cray. They go crazy when they're around catnip. Um, some of them act like they're high and they just run all over the place and run, 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 run. And they're just like hyped up and I'm like terrified for their heart rate and stuff. Uh, it's just when they smell it, okay? They don't even like to eat it. They don't like to eat it. They just like to smell it. And they're like, oh, I'm all excited. Uh, and some of them... Um, get really affectionate. You'll, they'll smell it. They'll, they kind of get high and they're just like, I love you, man. Love and peace to the world. I love you. <laughs> it's like, okay, you can, okay, maybe not, maybe I shouldn't give that to you guys all the time. Um, but I have that here and I will give it to them occasionally. I just don't give it to them all the time. So then, um, I got this box of herbs. <laughs> And what this was is it was <clears throat> sold on Amazon. Um, it was sold by the um, Celtic Supercenter or Celtic Supercenter, however you want to say it. But it's actually from the Witches Supercenter. And the Witches Supercenter, they have a website you can go to where they sell all of their herbs and products. Um, they actually are cheaper if you buy straight through them instead of through Amazon. Amazon's like $10 more. Um, to get their cut of the profit, but I decided to buy through Amazon first just to see if I liked the quality of the herbs, and then I would probably buy from the Witches Supercenter on my own, um, like if I need certain ones later. This is a sampler package. It's about a quarter ounce to a half ounce of 92 herbs. I don't know if any of you guys have heard that on Amazon, but I was looking for herb samplers. I wanted to get as many herbs as I can, just kind of test them out, see which ones I liked. And I found this one with shipping on Amazon. It was about $85, but worth it. Um, it. Definitely worth it. The quality of these herbs is top notch. I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being that it's absolutely amazing, the best herb in the world. Compared to Mountain Rose Herbs, I have to say Mountain Rose Herbs is probably a 10. They're the best company that I've found. And I've gone to local stores and other companies online. They're the best company that I've found Um as far as the quality of their herbs, the freshness, um, how well they're dried, so the, the preservation of the herb. Um, their, their company's integrity and you know where they harvest it, they're, they're eco-friendly, they're sustainable from wherever they harvest. Just everything about the company, they're an amazing company, Mountain Rose Herbs. I'm sure most of you guys know about that. Um, but the problem that I have, the only problem I have with Mountain Reserves is that they only sell um, 
at the lowest amount, four ounces. So the least amount of herb you could buy from them is four ounces, which doesn't sound like a lot. Maybe it does. But four ounces, I had a big bag of lavender, and I only have, I put it, I put the rest in a jar. I bought it, I bought it like four years ago. Um, I still have a little jar amount worth of lavender, and it's still really good quality, so it still lasted. Um, but it, like, it's like a huge four-ounce bag. Now, well, like, yeah. But... It depends on weight. So obviously, even with this, all herbs are based on weight. So four ounces of resin is going to actually look like a half ounce or two ounces of... La okay, four ounces of lavender um, compared to four ounces of like frankincense resin. The frankincense in reality will be, will, will be equivalent to two ounces of lavender because it's based on weight. Anyways, four ounces is a lot of herb. And so unless you're going to be using it or have purposes for it, it's not really wise to just buy all your herbs at Mountain Reserves to start off with if you don't know if you like the herb or not, because then you'll be stuck with four ounces. So places like Amazon and the Witches Super Center or even like um, <clears throat> local stores that you have are great to be able to buy a sample pack of herbs to test out. <clears throat> I have a local store that just opened up well, it opened up like a year ago, but still, it's pretty new. Um, it's called The Natural Grocers. And, <clears throat> sorry, everything that they sell is um, organic and all natural. And they have a dried herb section. And um, they smell. They sell smaller quantities. They'll sell like a quarter of an ounce up to one ounce, maybe two ounces of herbs. Um, and they have a really nice selection um, of herbs to buy that are dried for you. So... And they're really good quality. But anyways, my point, the scale. Mountain Reserve's like a 10. So, um, the Witch Super Center, I'd have to say, is about an 8. And then, like, Natural Grocers would be, like, about an uh, 8 or a 9. So, anyways, I'm just going to kind of go through and show you the label, kind of what the herbs look like. It is 92 of them. Um... Yeah, after this, I just have um, a Dipper.com review that I'm going to do separate because I feel like people should have the Dipper review be separate. You know what? We're just going to go ahead. And I'm just going to show you all the herbs. I'm sorry if it goes long, if this is a long video. So, so sorry. But I'm just going to show you guys the herbs. Okay, so got yucca. And what's really nice is that um, this, this is the, the size. It's just one of those small bags. And they pretty much fill it up, but they also base it on weight. Um, they have Witch Super Center with their website company. They have the title of the herb and then the, oh, come on. They have the title of the herb and then the properties of the herb of how to work with it for magical purposes. So these herbs are meant to be for magical purposes. They're not meant to be used for medicinal purposes. And I wouldn't use them for medicinal purposes because I can't trust the quality of the herb as far as, like, if it's organic or all natural or anything. I don't think that they are. So, be careful. Anyway, so we have yucca, um, yarrow, and these herbs smell amazing. White sage. Uh, winter green, yerba mate, sorry it's not focusing, my camera takes forever to focus, like it likes to focus on me instead of focusing on stuff I put in front of it, stevia, and I, may, I might make a video in the future about um, like showing you guys the properties of the herb. Like, I will actually will be making videos in the future talking about the properties of herbs for magical medicinal purposes. Obviously for entertainment, educational purposes only. I'm not here to treat, diagnose, or cure anybody. Um, but yeah, uh, this one, they labeled as white sage, but I found out that it is angelica root. They just um, mislabeled it. <laughs> Because they list all of the herbs that you'll get on Amazon um, in the description. They list all the herbs you'll get. And I went through and I got all of them. There weren't any substitutions. 
Um, but they, they gave me two white sage, but they look different. And I realized this is angelica root. Blue vervain. Some of these herbs I haven't heard of before. We haven't gotten to any of those yet, but some of them I haven't heard of before. Um, but yeah, 92 herbs, sampler, amazing. Spearmint. Sassafras. And like, I don't know if you, I don't know if you can tell because I have the glare of my laptop, but, um, but they, um, they're sifted. They're not powdered form. They're, they're sifted. Witch hazel. It, is, it looks like powdered form. Oh, for God's sakes. It looks like powdered form because some of it got powdered on the bottom, but most of it's actually just sifted, like chopped up and sifted. Valerian root. Thyme. Red sandalwood. Now, of course, I don't know where they got their sandalwood. Um, Indian sandalwood is endangered, and so you shouldn't really buy Indian sandalwood anymore. Um, I'm sure they'll get to a point where they won't even, they'll stop selling it because, and harvesting it because it'll be endangered, so be close to extinction. But they do have um, Australian sandalwood and Hawaiian sandalwood that came on the market recently that um, are very similar to Indian sandalwood with the, the scent and smell and everything. And I think Australian and Hawaiian might have like red and blonde or white versions. I'm not sure. Um, but I did, I did see on Amazon where you could buy like Hawaiian sandalwood, which if you live in the United States, you just have to pay the shipping fee. So, but it wouldn't be international, obviously. Just a note. Yellow dock. Pine, pine bark, white willow bark, slippery elm. Obviously, some of these, like slippery elm and chamomile and stuff, are good for um, medicinal purposes. But like I said, when it comes to medicinal, you really got to make sure you're getting like top quality herbs. I prefer organic or all natural herbs just to know how they were grown. Because you can buy magical herbs that they could have maybe had some pesticides used on them to grow the herb. Mm -hmm. Raspberry leaf. Beggars can't be choosers, though. And these are just for magical purposes. Rosemary. Like I said, I would buy my medicinal herbs from Mountain Rose Herbs or from natural grocers. St. John's wort. Uh, they gave us sea salt. Obviously, it's not an herb. You can see the granules are actually very um, big granules. Um, so this isn't this isn't isn't any type of sea salt I've seen. Very large granules, gran granules of sea salt. And you know, sea salt salt's used for magical purposes. I understand why they put it in here. Yeah, I understand it's not really an herb, so it's kind of a cheat. But oh well. Peppermint. Patchouli. Parsley. And I, I like I said, I'll, I'll we'll go through and kind of tell you guys what herbs I like and stuff later on. Orange peel. Oregano. Some of them I'm going to save. Uh, marshmallow root, save to show you guys in a second. Mandrake root, which of course would only be magical purposes because it's poisonous. Well, I believe it's poisonous. You read some books that say they're poisonous, and then you read like new evidence books that just got published that say it's not really poisonous, it just has these negative attributes to it. Mulin. Mulin is actually really good to make a tonic out of for your cat's ear mites. Mix mulin with olive oil and some garlic cloves. Let it steep for a couple of weeks and then you drain it and you put a couple of drops into your cat's ears to help rid them of ear mites, which I gotta do. I don't have enough mulin. This is all I have. I gotta buy some mulin. But um, 
that's one of the remedies I read of in the um, herbal cat care book that I got. Um, some of my cats really have a problem with that. And I've taken them to the vet and they keep giving us antibiotics and medicine and stuff. None of it works. And if I'm going to have to constantly, if it's like a lifelong thing where you just have to constantly give your cat the medicine to always kill off the air mines so there's no end all cure, um, then I'd rather use like a mulan herbal remedy than using antibiotics all the time. Marjoram. That's the same thing that to go with like treating yourself with herbal remedies. If it's going to have to be a lifelong chronic issue, you might as well just use herbal remedies as long as it's safe for you to do that instead of having a pop pills all the time in Western medication. Common sage, mainly because Western medication has a lot more side effects than herbs if you use them properly. Nettle. I kind of go off on tangents a lot, so I'm trying to mix it in. Lemon verbena. Lemon balm. Uh, lavender. Lemongrass. We're like halfway through now. <laughs> Hyssop. Ginger root, hawthorn, uh, leaf, juniper berries. I was so excited to get juniper berries. I wasn't sure if they just said juniper, so I wasn't sure if they were going to give me juniper leaf, which I already have. But no, juniper berries. And I'm so excited. I love using juniper berries for Maven incense. I'm just called to do that. Marigold or calendula. Yeah, calendula. Licorice root. Rosebuds and petals. Hibiscus flowers. These ones are purple. Red pepper flakes, which was an unusual herb. I never thought of that, but actually you can use it a lot for like fire magic or passion magic. Red clover. Horsetail, which looks really weird. It looks like it's plastic, but it's just like this very thick kind of reed. Um, ginkgo biloba. Bil yeah, biloba. Ginkgo biloba, hard to say. Lemon peel. Go to cola. Motherwort. Fever few. Fennel seeds, and then elderberries, so cool. I need to get elder flowers, but I got elderberries. Not really enough to make an elderberry cough syrup, but still cool. Got cedar bark, that's my cat if you can hear him, cumin. Echinacea, cat's claw, uh, chest tree berries, coriander seeds, bay leaf. Jasmine flowers, which is so cool to get. I love jasmine flowers. Kelp. Don't fall. Um, hops. Flaxseed. Clay. 
cleavers. Catnip. Dill, which actually looks like dill weed. Dong Kwa, which is Chinese Angelica. Honest, which is really cool that they gave us the Honest Star Pods. That's so cool. Comfrey. We're getting down to the bottom. Cinnamon Bark. Um, Barberry, which is yellow, which is so cool. It's like a bright yellow color, the bark. That's really cool. Borage leaf. Honest, or sorry, allspice berries. Which I already have some of these, but that's really cool to get allspice berries. Some cloves. And some basil. Dandelion, which looks like just the leaf. Bergamot, which is cool to get because I've only heard of bergamot oil. Chamomile. Now, a lot of this got powdered up, but there are little chamomile flowers in there. Um, rose hips. Mugwort, which I was really happy to get because I love using mugwort for like emulk incense for uh, purification. Now, okay, then I was going to show, this is the only unusual herb I haven't heard of before, which is black snake root. These were um, the whole resins that I got. I got copal resin. Frankincense resin and myrrh gum resin. And these are all the ones that came in powdered form. Um, benzoin gum, which can be used as a resin. Arabic gum, which is also a cassia, which can be used as a resin. Gura gum, which can also be used as a resin. Guarana seed powder and orris root. So those were the powdered ones that I got. And those are all of the herbs. <laughs> so yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> um, but we are done now with the haul. I'm going to do the dipper review and um, yeah, so that is all the herbs that I got. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I got, got so many herbs. And they are, you know, small quantities and, like, you know, um, resin compared to the whole herb. Obviously, resin's like half the bag and um, some type of leaf or flower is going to be the whole bag. But that's because it's based on weight. Um, but they're all supposed to be about half ounce. I don't really care how much it really is because I got so many. So yeah, those are the herbs that I got. And okay, well, I'm going to end this haul video. So thanks for watching. If you watched all three or all two, all two, if you watched all two, thank you so much. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed and found maybe some things that you would might, you might want to buy or some ideas. So have a good day and a good night. Blessed be. Bye.